What's going on YouTube? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to explain to you guys how to shiny hunt in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. So we got the chain hunting, we got Masuda, and we have the underground hunting as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to explain to you guys how to do it. We're going to start off with chain hunting. So with chain hunting, you have to go down through and you have to find and locate the Pokemon that you want to hunt. Once you do that, you can either KO it or uh, catch it. Preferably catching. Catching is a lot easier and it's better off. So you go ahead and when you're doing the chain hunting, you catch it. Then that's how you continue your chain. After that, you'll have to go ahead and count out at least four steps, either side to side or up and down. Best way to go. And I emphasize four spaces. It's your best chance of being able to go ahead and continue that chain. Right once you hit a chain of 40, that is going to be your max odds at one of 99. So you go ahead, you get that chain, you hit that, and then right once you get that 40, you can continue on until that chain breaks. Now it could break right once you hit 41, it could break, you know, six shinies in. In order to reset the patches until you get a shiny patch, or if you want a second shiny patch, you'll have to pace back and forth 50 steps. And that's how you end up doing the radar shiny hunting. Next, you have the Masuda. I personally don't really care for the Masuda method too often, but everyone knows the Masuda method. So I'm not going to really explain the Masuda too much. Obviously, it is a foreign Pokemon with a ditto or a foreign ditto with a Pokemon from your game. And then you have the underground method. The underground method it is going to be you collect 40 Diglett. Once you collect those 40 Diglett, you go ahead and you have four minutes of shiny hunting. So you want to get into the den as quickly as possible or the area as quickly as possible where the Pokemon spawn. And you have to go ahead and encounter all of those or encounter just certain ones that you're looking for. Back out, come back in, and it resets the room every single time until those four minutes are up and then you have to re-encounter 40 Diglett again and it's going to be Diglett or Doug Trio. Diglett it's one or it counts as one, Doug Trio counts as three. Best way to get those Diglets as quickly as possible you can go ahead you can set up a, um, a trophy room right where a Diglett spawns and back in and out of that room as many times as you as you want you can go up and down to see if there's you know more diglets or dug trios that are, have spawned within your area okay so i hope this explanation helps you guys out more um for future updates or content you know definitely consider subscribing down below and uh hit that that bell icon helps out the channel grow a little more and uh consider dropping a like as well i'd appreciate it um but remember guys Stay humble, stay positive, always remain yourselves. I'll catch you guys in another video. Peace.